Okay, and now that we have it, Virgil, I want to ask you, is this legal? Is it allowed? Well, I'm not really sure whether or not it has a passport or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, of course, from a scientific point of view, apparently it's, it's, it's an incredible puzzle. But also from a, from a legal point of view, it's really puzzling. Uh, uh, I can imagine that there is all sorts of legislation that might be applicable to uh, OSCAR. Legislation with regard to genetically modified organisms. Uh, animal testing, uh, biotechnology on, uh, on large animals, uh, tissue engineering, maybe even uh, legislation about chemicals. Do we have the uh, legislation in place to deal with this? No, no, no. I, I, I mean, we can of course see to what extent uh, OSCAR uh, falls within the scope of what we actually have. But I can guarantee you one thing, and that's our democracy did not yet consider cases such as OSCAR. So basically our legal system is leaping behind on the scientific development. Uh, in this case, uh, of course, it's, it's difficult to assess yet because mm -hmm. I, I don't fully understand yet how, uh, how OSCAR works and um, how it works and what's it, what its purpose is. Uh, that makes a huge impact on how you also legally can classify it. But in any case, I can guarantee you that our democracy uh, wasn't ready with, uh, for, uh, for this kind of cases. Right, and that's why we're discussing it also. But uh, Alan, is it, is it desirable to have these new modular bodies um, that we coexist yeah, with? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the motives of uh, Cornelius Flassman because I think there are two, two motives. Um, but if you look at it from the um, societal perspective... And what, are the, what are his motives? motives I think, think he wanted to reproduce himself without uh, using women. Uh, that's a personal thing. And I think that's the ultimate desire of men, uh, to be able to reproduce without women. But that's a personal thing. I think in an, on the long term, um, he's not after creating a world without women. He's after creating a world where we can become um, um, immortal. Mm -hmm so that we can endlessly replace body parts. And the best thing is to replace your body part with an other body part that is made of your own tissue. Um, so you don't have difficulties with uh, host versus graft uh, problems or uh, donors that you have to pay or animals that have nasty viruses. So in the end, I think um, people would want that. Mm -hmm. huh? so, so you have an organism that grows your organs. So once you need one, Right, you but replace it. So you also we all want to be immortal, don't we? 